I don't need no advice You're not here and we both know why so Move for me when you're extra Move for me with the past I I'm building up a house where they raise me Move for me, I go crazy Don't switch on me, I got big plans We need to fall to the island We need you go on a spray tan I need you to stop running back to your ex He's a waste man Hey fairies and welcome back to my channel, it's Larisha Andrea. So just jumping right into the video, I'm just gonna start by parting off my hair. Um, this is just a section where I want to lay my frontal and my bundles down. Um, it's no specific way of doing it. It's just how much space you want your faux um, twist out to go. So I'm just going in with my 30 second molding gel and just putting that in the area that I want my frontal and bundles to go. And I'm just gonna use my blow dryer to blow that dry. Mine took about five minutes, but it just depends on your hair density in your hair itself and how long it will take but it does not take long and once that is dry I will be going in with my Moroccan Argan oil liquid cap fluid and I will just be putting that all throughout where I put that molding gel and I just think there's some confusion going on with people thinking that the molding gel or the liquid cap technique that I do is just ruining my hair. It actually makes my hair grow, ironically, because it is a protective style and people think that because I'm putting glue on my hair, that that means it's ripping out my hair or it's ruining my hair or anything like that. But ironically, it actually makes my hair grow. And if you guys see me jamming, that is because I'm listening to the Kendrick Lamar album. That is my album, guys. So going in with my frontal, you guys know that I only work with white wigs when it comes to my frontal tools and this is the Peruvian Kiki Curly and it's an eight inch I believe eight inch yes the frontal is an eight inch and then the bundle is an eight inch and I only use one bundle and of course you guys know this is super affordable so I'm just gonna be marking off my sides with my foundation powder just so I'll know how much space I will need when I cut the frontal so I'm just gonna cut off um, a little bit on the lace and then I'll just be putting it on my lap just to make sure that everything is even and parted and I'll just part the hair and then I'll just just cut that in an even straight line. Then I'm just gonna place the lace frontal on my hair just to make sure both sides match up evenly and everything looks straight and perfect. And once I approve, I'm just going to put some glue on the ends of the frontal. You never wanna put it on the mesh part, you only wanna put it on like that um, line part at the end of the frontal. And I'm just going to place the frontal on my hair, making sure that the baby hairs match up with my baby hairs and everything looks even. And I'm just going to kind of just push down the back to make sure that it is in place and it dries correctly. Then this is just the eight inch bundle that I was telling you guys about previously. And I'm just gonna be lining that up with my molded area and making sure that I only put it on the molded area and not on my hair that does not have the liquid cap gel on. Then I'm just gonna use my blow dryer to make the process go a little bit quicker and I'm just gonna do this same technique all the way up until I reach the frontal at the top. Thank you. 
Now I'm just gonna take my got to be gel and just put that on the liquid cap area. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm not getting it on the area that I do not have the gel on and then taking that got to be blast spray or the freeze spray actually and then take my blow dryer letting that dry for about 10 seconds and I'm just going to start molding down the sides of the frontal just to make sure that it is nice and flat and it just blends in with my natural um, side part. Now I'm just going to cut off any excess area that my hairline does not blend in with, which is this side that I'm cutting off right now. My hairline for some reason just grows a little bit further back in that area. But I'm just going to now just mold down um, the whole entire hairline, just making sure that it is blending in with my natural hairline and also creating a little bit of baby hair. Now that my hair is all in and the sides are gelled down, the front is gelled down, I'm just gonna go in with a water bottle spray and just spray my entire hair. And then I'm also gonna go in with some leave-in conditioner as if I would with my regular hair and then put this all throughout the hair, especially on the ends because we are gonna be doing a twist out. Now we begin our twist out and I'm just going to section off a area of the frontal and then just do a two strand twist and I'm just going to do this in big sections all throughout that area. Now that my two strand twist is all done, I'm just gonna let that air dry and wanna move on to cutting down my sides and my back. So if your hair is already short, you don't really have to do this step, but my sides are a little bit too long for my liking. So I'm just gonna go down and cut down my sides and I'm using a two blade or a number two blade, should I say? And my sides have a problem with laying down and staying down whenever I cut my hair. So I do have to mold my sides down. Again, if your hair does not do this, you can just skip this entire step, but my hair does not lay down. I need to mold it down and let it dry with some wraps. So this, that's just what I'm doing right here. It's so just taking my mousse, it's from BB. It's their foamy mousse. I'm just using a brush just to brush everything down. Then I'm just going to end with some black strips just to put on. I'm going to use about two black strips and I'm just going to use my blow dryer just to make the drying process a little bit faster.
Now I wanted to go in and line up my hair. I did not have time to go and get it done by a barber, but if you guys do not feel safe doing this or you guys do not feel comfortable doing this, more than welcome to go into a professional barber and have this done. But I decided to do it myself, so I just grabbed my clippers, brushed my hair down a little bit in the front, and then I'm just going to line up my sides and line up around my ear and then I also just went in and did a few lines but like I said if you guys don't feel comfortable doing this at home more than welcome then going into a professional and having them do this for you Now I just went ahead off camera and did my makeup and then now I'm just going to take out my two strand twists. So I'm just going to take them out all around and then once they're out I'm just going to blow dry it with a precision nozzle on my blow dryer just to stretch it and then once it's stretched I'm going to go in and take out a little bit more with my finger and finger comb all of the two strand twists out and make it a little bit more fluffy and pretty. And then I just decided um, to go in with a wide tooth comb just to kind of comb out the roots and just comb out the hair just a little bit just to give me a little bit more volume. And if you guys want to see me cut this into a taper cut, I will do a separate video on that. I was originally going to do a taper cut, but I decided to just leave it when I was looking at it on camera like, hmm, I should just leave it just like this. And if you guys want to see a taper cut, I will do a separate video of me cutting this into a tapered diva cut or whatever you guys want to name this. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Hope to see you guys in my next video and I love you guys always. Bye! Thank you.